What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Cat Lady. So first and foremost, I want to apologize about the uh, the resolution you guys are probably going to be watching it in. Uh, the only one that I could get it running smoothly was in 800 by 600. Now, I believe this game was released in April of this year, so I'm not entirely sure why there's like really odd aspect ratios for this because the next step up from 800 by 600 was 1600 by 1200 and now i don't have a monitor that runs at like, like that so it just gives me an error saying that it just it's not gonna run so i just want to quickly apologize about that but the reason why i bought this game is it of, of course it's it's a horror game but it's a completely different type of horror game at least that's you know they, they they say it's a horror game i haven't actually checked out the game myself uh from my understanding it's this deals with like some really mature content uh, because basically the cat lady is Susan Atworth, I believe is her name, or Ashworth, and she's in her 40s and, you know, she has, like, no friends, no family, and apparently is on the brinks of suicide, so that's what really got me interested in this game is, you know, there's not many games out there that deal with this type of, you know, situations, and that intrigued me so much that I wanted to check it out. So without further ado, guys, I bring to you guys the cat lady. And if you guys want to show your support by giving me a like or, you know, whatever throughout this entire series, I'd be super happy. But I'm only going to say that at the beginning of this series. So let's just get this started. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Holy crap. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. So already I'm intrigued because I want to know why she's like this. House in the Woods, Chapter 1. And why she feels like so alone and why she feels like no one loves her and thanks for nothing and all that. It's just, it's already kind of sad, to be honest. I assume that's us. Not entire okay. Press left or right to walk. See, is this part of like I don't want to say our journey on our way to dying, but I'm curious as to where this takes place and oh what the heck is this? Can we go up? Press up to Open interaction menu, cycle through the available options with up and down, press enter to confirm. So let's examine. 
I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. It's locked. Okay, so we need to find a key. What the heck? <laughs> Where did this garage come from? Oh, this does not look good. I don't know if these are like previously crashed and just thrown in here or what. But I don't see any sign of a key. Can we possibly go into the bus? No. Oh, the heck was that? God damn it! Damn that loud music! Scaring the bejabbers out of me. Okay. Oh. Press up to the interaction. Okay, so here we go. Let's examine. Obviously, it's an ambulance. The, this ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. Now, are we able to open the door? Let's see what's inside. Nope, of course. Everything is locked. So there's nowhere for us to go. And it didn't look like there was any other option to open up. Oh. Huh. What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me. Is, it, is that back at that? Holy crap. Is that us? That looks like us. It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? It's up to cycle. So let's examine. I look so calm. Turn head. Oh. Okay, when we turn the head, it... Does it just... Okay, it automatically turns back. Okay, let's open the eyes. I don't want to open the eyes here. This is really morbid. Beautiful green eyes. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now, they sh they still shine a little. All right, so let's open the mouth. Oh, look at that. We got a key. Is that a key in your mouth? In my mouth? I'll, I'll better take it with me. I'll better take it with me? I will better take it with Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I hope that this is the key to go back into the little... I don't even know what that was. Like a little house or a windmill or something? Again, with the thing... Oh, damn! Okay, we're still... We're still good, apparently. So, are we... Like, I'm wondering if we're... If this is a ghost form? Or what? Like, obviously, we didn't take any damage there or anything like that, but... I want to know what's with all the random colored objects. And then how come all of a sudden out here it's it's bright and beautiful? Hello. Get out of here, you stupid animal. Should I go chase it? I wonder if we can. I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna quickly go see if we can go hunt this animal. Not that we're gonna be able to hunt this animal, but you know what I mean. I just want to go chase it and touch it and steal its antlers. Oh, there it is. We can. I'm following it. I'm doing it. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you going? Hey. We're really close. Come here. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. What the front door is going on here? body I is that's probably us again my dead body hanging from a tree I should be scared but I just feel empty wait what's that shiny thing on her, on her neck is that a key Examine. Oh, wait we already we already did this okay so let's search I can't reach it uh, oh you know what that's not what I wanted to do let's see here we go we can examine it the rope is tied into a knot so let's untie this. It would take me hours to undo this knot? The door seems to be bolted on the other side. Okay, so I'm wondering if there is possibly... 
that weird little shed or something. I There's... can't remember this place. Am I lost? I'd assume so. Either that or we're in limbo or, in, or somewhere. Wait. Yeah, this is all new to me. What a gruesome... Oh, God, like dead animal faces there. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. It's true. Why is everything locked here? I'm so confused as to where we... Again, with the stupid bird! Go caught somewhere else, brah. Wait, is this bird going to lead us to somewhere else? See, is there something here? No, I'm pretty sure it tells us when there is something for us to be able to use. Should I go... Should I chase it or should I continue on? See, it goes back, but I'm not entirely sure. This is new. This is obviously new. done this. Is there anyone else here? Let's pull out the knife. Ooh. Now, is there... Unbolt? What? Where? What? How did we get here? I'm so confused. Okay. Well, now we need the knife, right? Use. Here we go. Oh, it's that bot. Oh, the crunching sound. Look closer. Susan, let's examine. I look like I'm just sleeping. So the pocket's empty, and we'll take the key. So we've got two keys now, but with nothing else. So if we go back this way, are we going to hopefully get back to the weird house? I really like the atmosphere in this. It's definitely like gritty looking, but it definitely suits it. It's eerie. And the music too. It's locked. Okay, so what if we use that key? There we go. Opened. Oh, that pig head. Who the front door is Welcome that? Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? Oh god. An old lady who lives in the woods. Uh, I'm going to... that's definitely not... It's not because I'm sexist or anything, I don't think it's god or the devil. So I'm just going to assume it's death. Because it takes up many forms, right? Death. So let's do that. Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. Wow, one greedy bee. I bean. am doom. But I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some. Also, some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps? I am life. But then again, does it really matter? I don't know. I'm so confused. If you're not death, and if you're... I don't know. What exactly? What is this place? I want to know. What like, is this place? This, my dear, is my humble kingdom. And this house is my castle. <laughs> Movement she does. I rarely invite people in, just like you. I like my solitude. But you are a special guest, and I'm going to make an exception. What the hell makes Me? it so special? Special? I can tell you now that there's nothing special about me, lady. 
Don't bring yourself down, Susan Ashworth. Today, you are my guest of honor. Okay, so what will happen next, then? What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. Oh boy, exactly what I wanted! There's also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. I don't want to go in. It's cold out here. God, we... a lonely seashore. Let's touch it. Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. <laughs> you lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lie to yourself. Sorry, it just looks so enticing. I just want to touch it. Little, little ink, little paint. Alright, so let's look at. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. Why? Because we're inside? Uh. Exactly. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. Okay, we we understand I've this, right? I paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is oh one God, name the fallen ones use when something. I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Ooh. Is that what you are? Why maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. Like her. I guess that's me. Ooh. Let's see. Will, will I be punished? I probably will, right? Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. Why am I so special? I don't understand it. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows? I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. Some creepy so like lady who just said, nods her head I'm up going and down. to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Sounds like a deal with the devil. Well, I, I want to know. I, I assume there isn't anyone here, but we're going to ask it anyways. Is there anyone else here? I find it so weird <laughs> that our face is blurring when it faces us. Hi. I thought you liked being alone. Not with you. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want, but it's not here. It's gone. You're so creepy. It will only. never, ever come again. See, hmm. It's kind of weird that she's giving us like an ultimatum to be happy. I don't know. Let's let's just do this one. I have no reason to live. Please just let me go. I have no reason to live. Please just let let's me. Let's see go. what she'll. I tried. I really did. But it's never going to be okay. Who knows? Maybe. But one way or the other. This isn't the end of your story. It's only the beginning, my dear. And there are great things waiting for you. Believe me. Okay, so then what do you want what me to do, do to be happy? Do? Yes. 
I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? They're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I don't know if I want to go in there. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually going to end off right here just because... I don't want to... I don't know. This is... This is really intriguing right now. This is definitely the game that I've been wanting to play for a while again, so... I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you guys thought down below. I'm obviously going to be continuously... Continuously? Continuously playing this game, so I hope you guys will watch the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I shall talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts.